wedding day. We're here. You guys made it. All your friends and family are here, smiling at us. But now that we're here though, this whole thing feels a little weird, right? I mean, we're standing up here, we look super fancy with a bunch of flowers. Why do we do it? The marriage ceremony has been an important staple of society across nearly every culture, religion, and generation. We have dozens, if not hundreds, of important moments in our lives, yet the wedding day is the one that we choose to share in this way. I think it's because, despite all our differences, love is what we all share. It's the great unifier, our one universal truth, that no matter who we are, where we come from, or what we believe in, love is what we're doing right. Nine years ago, I laid my eyes on you for the first time, and I knew there was something special about you. Although we were just kids at the time who had a lot of growing up to do, I had that feeling, that gut feeling, you know, that when the timing was right, our paths would cross again. Just shy of six years since we got back together, only about a year into dating, I was accepted into PA school in Texas. And without batting an eye, you told me how proud you were of me, and you celebrated me. Although I was hesitant and nervous to leave the state that I had known for my entire 25 years of life at that time, your confidence in me was unwavering. I know the decision for me to leave and the total long distance had on you and on me was really some of our least favorite days or years. But I also think that something that is so invaluable to our relationship today is the fact that we faced and conquered those two and a half years of long distance. Although it wasn't the most graceful days of our relationship, it's made us undeniably stronger, closer, and so much better equipped for whatever life throws our way in our future as husband and wife. I love you unconditionally and without hesitation. My love for you has grown and evolved over the years as you and I have shared incredible memories and faced difficult times together. Whether good or bad, all of our shared experiences have molded and shaped our love into something better and stronger than it was before. I'm forever grateful for those experiences and I wouldn't trade them for the world. I am far more excited for the lifetime of new memories and challenges that lie ahead of us. Blaze told a couple of us guys, he said, we have a beach house on, you know, in California, in San Diego. I think there's a few cute volleyball girls going, so we get down there and we're nowhere near San Diego or any beach. <laughs> we're, about, we're about 45 minutes to an hour inland, no beach in sight. They had a basketball court in a hot tub. Blaze saw Taylor and he said, well, she's kind of cute. And then he kind of started doing the whole little flirtatious thing. We all wanted to leave Blaze you know, ended up making us stay there uh, for the next like three days, hot tub, basketball, and that was literally it. But we had a good time and, you know, I'm so thankful for that moment because since then uh, we've made so many great memories. Blaze, thank you for being my, you know, right hand man. Uh, if I'm ever in a pinch or, uh, you know, have any type of issue, uh, you know, I'll get you on the line quick and I know uh, you'll be there for me. So thank you guys so much. I can't wait to see what you two accomplish together. Taylor, you have always been my rock. Whether it's silly, singing a silly song in a talent show or dealing with some of the challenges that life has dealt us over the years, you're always there. You've never wavered, you never miss your cue, and I wanna be a part of any team that you're on. Taylor is the ultimate partner. She's supportive and kind. She has this innate ability to recognize when someone needs a boost or a kind word. Blaze, you could not have picked a better partner for your team. Taylor, I love you so much. Our relationship has crossed oceans and state lines. The love and joy and pride that I get to experience as your older sister cannot be understated. You are two special and remarkable people, and together you are an unstoppable force. Taylor, you give Blaze drive and focus, and Blaze, you keep my sister level-headed and remind her not to take life too seriously. Believe it or not, I think it was junior year of college. These two actually split up, and they broke up. And rather than doing what a lot of us would do in Blaze's situation, which is, you know, bury it down, put on a brave face, and go out with your boys and make bad decisions, 
Blazer just like shut down. And I look over to Blaze and I'm like, dude, what's going on? Like, what's up? And he just says, she was one. She was one and I lost her. And I knew right then, like something changed in Blaze. It took me a long time to figure out what that was. It was love lost. Not long after, these two got back together and I have never in my life seen a happier couple. I have a song with all my children and our song is Butterfly Kisses. And during the reveal of the bride, you go out there and you turn around and she, she comes out and you see her for the first time. It's a priceless moment. She gave me a really cool gift. A musical box, had a really nice phrase, it said Butterfly Kisses and it actually plays Butterfly Kisses. <laughs> it's really sweet. So I'm gonna do that back to her. I brought you a gift I'd like you to open right now. I know none of you can see the gift. Let me describe it to you. It's a, it's a necklace, and the heart has a, a butterfly embedded into it. The heart's a symbol of your love for Blaze. Your love for Blaze when he's lovable, and, and more importantly, your love for Blaze when he's unlovable. The butterfly is a symbol for you to fly. To fly in your career, in your job, to go places with Blaze, travel, and when put together, the butterfly in the heart, may you forever remember your dad's butterfly kisses. Your shadows fall behind When all the weight you carry Is weighing on your mind Taylor Christine Bingold, from this day forward, I vow to be the husband you deserve. I vow to be honest, kind, and faithful. I vow to see us as equals as we chase our dreams and build our life together. I truly could not imagine a better partner in this life of mine to spend the rest of my days with. I love you because your constant reminder is not to take life so seriously. Escape from this life we have no Your eyes on you we have all loved in our lifetimes, and in this moment, we're reminded that the ability to love is the very best part of our humanity. You two fell in love by chance, but you're here today because you're making a choice. You're both choosing each other. You've chosen to be with someone who enhances you, who makes you think, makes you smile, and makes every day brighter. As your wife, I promise to love you unconditionally. I promise to continuously strive to be the best version of myself, meaning really working on not interrupting your sentences because I think I know what you're gonna say. I promise to not always be so planned because as you ever so faithfully remind me, some of the best things in my life thus far have been uncalculated or unexpected. I promise to respect you, to be patient and forgiving, to be spontaneous. I promise to encourage your dreams and ambitions as you always do for mine. I promise to always choose you over anything else. I vow to turn on Lionel Richie and dance with you in the kitchen after you've had a tough day. I vow to watch episodes of The Office with you when we both need a good laugh. I vow to always brag about your passion for life and your ability to see the best in people. I vow to put on my boots and go to country concerts with you and dance in the middle of the crowd like no one else is watching. I vow to respect, support, and foster your dreams and goals. I vow to always find new ways to make you laugh. At this time, Taylor and Blaze will prepare their unity box. This will include letters to each other and a bottle of wine, which they will open on their five-year anniversary. Will you, Blaze, keep Taylor as your favorite person? To laugh with her, go on adventures with her, support her through life's tough moments, be proud of her, grow old with her, and find new reasons to love her every day? I will. Will you, Taylor, keep Blaze as your lobster? To laugh with him, go on adventures with him, support him through life's tough moments, be proud of him, grow old with him, and find new reasons to love him every day? I will. Will you, Blaze and Taylor, be each other's partners from this day forward? Will you bring out the best in one another, share your happiest moments together, and love each other absolutely for the rest of this lifetime? We will. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love, my faith and our strength together, and my promise to learn and grow with you. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love, my faith and our strength together, and my promise to learn and grow with you. Blaze, you may now kiss the bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce you, Mr. and Mrs. Brad.
their personalities may diverge, their characters are mirror images. They are both selfless, loyal, hardworking, and incredibly passionate people. When faced with the various challenges of distance, life relationship balance, and evolving careers, Taylor and Blaze have continually chosen to love one another and prioritize their relationship. Over the years, they have brought out the best in each other and have grown stronger and sweeter together through the process. And smile. You're sitting with me on a black sand beach Palm trees swaying, I wish I could stay here with you we have all loved in our lifetimes, and in this moment, we're reminded that the ability to love is the very best part of our humanity. All of us here today have our own love stories. Some are short, others long. Some have yet to be written, while others have lasted almost a lifetime. here because we want those moments for you. We're here to hope with you, to support you, to be proud of you, and remind you that love isn't simply uh, happily ever after. Love is, experience, is the experience of writing your story. It's not one moment, it's not even this moment, it's every moment. Ever since I've known you, <laughs> you've turned into an amazing young woman. And I'm so proud to be your father, to watch you blossom. You're smart, you're beautiful, and you have a heart of gold. I've learned that you're incredibly respectful, you're smart, and you're kind of good looking, <laughs> and you have a huge heart for my daughter, and I couldn't be prouder to call you my son-in-law. to shoulder your burdens when I can, and to ask for your help when I need it. I vow to never settle for average, and to push you to do the same. I love you because you make me feel safe and secure. I love you because you're my very best friend. There's so much to love about you, which I'm positive everyone around us today feels that so deeply. But I feel so fortunate to have the opportunity in this lifetime to know you on the level only a wife can know her husband. my friends Jordan and Nate and we are the three best men that anyone could have on behalf of Taylor and myself welcome everyone and thank you for joining us on our special day family and friends are extremely important to us and it means so much that you were all here to celebrate Taylor's and I love. We invited each of you because at some point in our lives, you had a significant impact on us. So again, thank you for being here.
anything, I vow to face everything life throws at us with you by my side. As my partner, as my best friend, as my confidant, and my wife, I vow to love you forever. Your love is a deliberate choice. I choose you to do life with hand in hand. I choose you to love with my whole being. I choose you as the beginning and end of every day. I choose you through the trials in life and in the moments of bliss like today. I choose you. I love you.